Well, we are continuing to highlight some of the family's most, some of the Valley's most inspiring graduating seniors. Today's spotlight is especially appropriate. Sylvia Lopez plans to attend ASU next year to study industrial engineering. She hasn't even graduated high school yet, and she's already applying her engineering skills to the end of the pandemic. Here's her story. My name is Sylvia Lopez, and I'm graduating from Liberty High School. I begin my day at MET Professional Academy. Um, MET stands for Medicine, Engineering, and Technology, which is at Peoria High School. At my lunch, I drive over to Liberty High School, and I do a couple classes there. So I found that uh, the pandemic has helped me really take control over my education and make it mean something to me. I want to be an engineer because ultimately what I want to do with my career is to uh, eliminate waste and create more efficiency within the public education system in Arizona. This year, my project is to assist a seventh grade science teacher at Wigwam Creek Middle School. Due to the pandemic, it's been difficult for her to spend as much time with her students as she wants to because she has to sanitize all of her supplies. We decided to design a cart that would not only transport her supplies, but also use UV technology to sanitize her supplies so that she no longer has to manually spray and disinfect every single piece of supplies she has. Well, there are lots of ways that the pandemic has impacted my education. I've learned how to um, roll with the punches. There were a few things that I would have liked to have about my graduation or my prom or homecoming, but ultimately, I like to focus on the positive. I think that I've learned so much. I'm done being sad about it. I'm ready to move forward and um, take what I've learned from this experience and hopefully grow even more. Tomorrow, a student from West Phoenix pursued clubs and activities with reckless abandon to earn her millions in scholarships. And the pandemic wasn't even the toughest obstacle to her success. Our coverage of the class of 2021 continues. If you know about a school story we should cover or a concern we should investigate, email us at connect at 12news.com.